Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Saturday. Where's that deck? Oh, right here. Saturday, October 21st, 2023. I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders because it's all energy anyway. So if this is your reading, you will know from the description of the characters as well as the storyline. To take what applies and toss the rest. Don't try to make things good if it doesn't. I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head. No other reason. If you have to switch the genders and the roles, that's not a problem. Just remember, it is a general read. Not every reading is going to be for you, so you must use your higher wisdom and discernment with tarot. I'll bring out the tarot cards. I'll give you the description of the card as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some are one, and then we bring it together at the end. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't already, and join this beautiful soul tribe. I'd be truly grateful if you did. For those who have, thank you so very much. I love you. I love you very much. Let's see what Spirit has for us today. Thanks for being here. Eyes of Beauty. 25, that's Chariot and Tarot. Moving forward balance, accountability, radical acceptance, positive expectations and clarity. So you're going to gain some clarity. See overarching energy upon a situation or a person. Let's see, bottom of the deck, we have the spirit whisper. I was just going to say, you could be a medium. You speak to the others um, through the veil. Um, spirit whisper, divine guidance, higher knowing. Three, can be a divine feminine, it's an empress, and or there's something to do with a pregnancy or a mother. You're moving forward here. You could be traveling or moving. Radical acceptance. I think people are getting clear. Uh, maybe they didn't understand you at one point. I think they're seeing you clearly now. Maybe they said, oh, I, we don't, maybe you're a spiritualist of some sort or um, a medium and or a card reader or something. And they thought, oh, that's evil because all they, they're, I mean, they're not very spiritual maybe. Maybe they're religious and they don't understand spirituality yet. But now they see that what you're doing is actually beautiful. The eyes of beauty, right? They're seeing, maybe they're finally seeing the world through your eyes. It's wonderful. And they do know that you are getting your downloads from the divine. That you do have a higher knowing. Maybe they, they laughed at you at one point, but I don't know. I'm getting the impression that you've been so on point with your intuition, getting your intel right from source, that they can't deny it any longer. Bottom of the deck, sisters of the season, cycles of growth, natural law, divine order, 17. Could be on your north note as well. Okay, you're very spiritual. There's a lot, great deal of faith and prayer here. 17 is a star. You're, you're a star. You could be out in the public eye. Wishes are being granted. It's beautiful. I don't know. Maybe your sister or sisters didn't like what you're doing. Do you see how well you've grown? How far you've gotten? Divine order. So maybe they were doing something against natural law. I don't know. Maybe they're playing with magic. Take it as applies. One and seven is eight. You're, you have strength and, and resiliency. You're very courageous. You do the right thing. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. What, eyes of beauty. 25. Why is this here, please? Maybe traveling and or moving. Bring balance back to your world. Yep. Change. You are moving or traveling. Nine. Hermit. Could be alone. And there's an investigation. You could be alone. Somebody was hiding and cloaking something. Main mail. There's a change here. Something to do with main mail. One is the magician. So there's a conscious awareness. Somebody's trying to manifest you back in. I don't know. From the past or under judgment here. Bottom of the deck. This is divine judgment. There's a, a spiritual awakening possibly. Uh, somebody wants a second chance maybe. It's a wake up call. Could be under, under divine judgment. Two boils down, I mean, 20 boils down to a two. You're a high priestess. So you definitely know, you definitely have a connection with source. You're balanced, you're, you have a great balance between your dark and light, feminine and masculine energies. Um, highly intuitive as well. Uh, you don't say much, but you observe. It's a deep knowing, unexpected income. So somebody wanted to make some money off of you. 27 is nine. You're hiding in, maybe there's an investigation. That's a hermit. Nine. They're hiding and cloaking. Maybe it has something to do with a home, a property. Hmm. We'll see. 
Eyes of Beauty, 25. Or no, it's 27, right? 25. Change, 9. And Main Mail, 1. Somebody could have changed your address again um, without you knowing. You need a, I don't know, maybe they had some false ID. Look at supplies. The Eyes of Beauty, 25. Change, 9. And Main Mail, 1. Hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Could be getting interrogated by the police here. But this is definite sabotage. Somebody tried to sabotage you. They kept repeating something over and over again. Maybe it's magic. I don't know. To hammer it home. Or it could be home repairs or something. Uh, you're dealing with some crooked builders, maybe. Take it as applies. Okay, engagement ring at the bottom. Engagement. Partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So you're going into union. You can be engaged to this person. There's a love call. Someone expresses love, message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. I don't know. I don't know. And I, I'm not getting a good feeling with this engagement ring. There's unconditional love, though. Maybe they want to come back to you. It's a karmic. It's hiding. Of course it was. It's a karmic relationship under love. Love calls. So somebody's a karmic. I, I sensed it. it. It's just weird. You know, it's like, okay, this is not making sense. It's not feeling right. You know, as a reader, you're like, no, 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 no. Somebody's looking for something, okay? They want to take something. Maybe they got kicked out where, wherever they were. And they think they can come back to you and, you know, one of those hobo sexuals. They're, ho they're ho homeless. So they're going to try to, you know, get into a relationship with you. Sorry about the background noise. Eyes of Beauty, 25. Change, 9. Main Mail, 1. And Hammer. Sabotage. Internet. Ooh, they try to sabotage you on the internet. Or maybe they're trying to hack. Or maybe the internet didn't belong there. It just came out. We'll see. They're going to apologize you uh, to you. For slandering. Spreading gossip. And, gossip and rumors against you because they know you're going to sue them you're going to sue the pants off of them you're beautiful they're lazy it's a house or condo they, they, i'm picking up mortgage fraud or something something to do with a house or condo here the show off look at my home really did you buy it is it under your name or mine provoke disgrace death and endings they want to take you out there's a false wedding i keep picking that up or a wedding vehicle you got a car and a house out of it, con artist. What'd I tell you? Oh, it's a gift. My honey gave me this. No, your honey put it under somebody else's name. Under the rival's name. Bullshit. Surprise and epiphany. Somebody's greedy. It's, you know what? You're loyal. There's a serious illness. They could have accused you of having an STD. They're, they are obsessed with you and ruining you. Addictions here. Travel and debt. Ooh, they went traveling with their fucking squeeze, right? They wanted to put you in debt because you're going to go travel. When you left them, I'm picking up. When you left them, you're beautiful. You left them because they were nothing. They were a piece of you know what. And you are going to go off in the world and travel. They didn't like that. How dare you do that? So they wanted to teach you a lesson. I get it now. Why size of beauty here? 25. Change 9. Main mail one, hammer, and sabotage. And beneath that is, what was that again? Yeah, internet. Maybe they're, they could only see you on the internet. They can't come near you. You are protected, by the way. Divine guidance, higher knowing, right? Eyes of beauty. Positive expectations and clarity. So the divine is protecting you. You could be a divine feminine here. Something with a house. It's always that stupid house coming out. I think I apologize. I'm sorry I tried to kill you. I'm sorry I slandered your name all over the place. I'm sorry. Will you let me move in and glom off you some more? No. You're single, abundant, independent, self-sufficient, stable, and secure. You have nine pentacles out of ten. You don't need anybody. Absolutely nobody. If they're in your life, it's because you want that person there. You're not codependent. 
And they can't handle that. They can't handle that because they are. Everybody they deal with is, right? Narcissist knew it. Pathological liar, user abuser, cold calculating, and cruel and very abusive. Now they're stuck. Mm -hmm. Wanted to keep you stuck, struggling. Uh, time is up for something. I, I think they, they're unable to pay some. If they did mortgage fraud, if they're unable to make the payments and they start sliding backwards, what do you think is going to happen? The jig is up. Because their partner is a spendthrift. Another karmic, right? They wanted you stru stuck and struggling here. They wanted you to delay your life by picking up. Refusing to look at things from a different perspective. There's going to be a communication here. Some truths coming through. King of Swords in reverse. Hangman. They wanted to sacrifice you. Oh, boy. They made accusations against you that they can't back up here. They're feeling defeated and overwhelmed. They have no defense for what they've done. They have no spirit, uh, spiritual protection here. Yeah. Chariot. This could be the cops coming in. You're moving on. They didn't fight to keep you or stay. Or maybe that's what they're scared of. Or that maybe that's what bothered them. You didn't fight for this relationship. You just moved on. Instead of fighting with them. If you know this person's cheating on you and they're not for you, you know the truth, right? The moon's come out. You're not going to fight for to be in their life. Only somebody that's got low self-esteem would do something like that. You know the truth. You moved on. You spoke your truth. You set boundaries and you cut them out. Goodbye. This could be law and order as well, okay? They kept repeating a bad pattern of behavior and didn't want to learn their lessons. Mm, it's going it. to kick them right in the ass now. They want to come back now. They don't want this to end. Moon in reverse. Queen of Swords in the upright. Why is this here, please? You're bringing back balance to a situation. Yeah, you could be an earth angel. You're very healing. You've healed. You're very balanced. Very patient. You transmuted all their dark en energy into abundance here. You're divinely protected and guided. You work hard. Eight of Pentacles. They want to they want to call a truce with you. They want to make peace with you, maybe. Uh, they want to put, yeah, working, working what? Just, this is an offer coming in here. You're working hard. You've mastered yourself. You've mastered your craft. You're in, I, I believe you're in service to the divine. This is a blessing here, okay? The divine has blessed you with this. You put in the work. You, you studied. You did what you had to do. And the divine has blessed you with, oh, look at this. Ten of Pentacles. Generational wealth. This could be an inheritance of some sort. Somebody's an opportunist. Somebody that was working with your money. Wanted to take your money. This could be family as well. Yeah, they're hiding and cloaking stuff now. It's in the reverse. They don't want to be investigated. They don't want to be scrutinized. They're lurking in the shadows. Be careful. You are a blessing, okay? You're stable and secure. A good steward, I heard. Yeah, there's going to be some communication. You are good news. You stood your ground. You're very inspirational. You overcame and persevered whatever you went through here in the past, okay? And you um, put up some fierce boundaries. Now they're they're paranoid. They're paranoid. They're blocking some communication about this money, okay? It's delayed communication here. They're seeing you online or somebody's watching you online. They're paranoid here because you're highly intuitive. You can't make it up. You could be working as a reader and or spiritualist of some sort. You didn't say much. You don't say much, but you you notice. This is a deep knowing, okay? You are in tune with, or in, in, uh, you're in contact with the divine here. You've healed. You've been waiting for a long time here. Somebody could be praying, strategizing, trying to contemplate what their next move is going to be. There's been a lot of, a lot of lies and illusions here. Online, right? Somebody was jealous, unstable, greedy, and materialistic, lazy. So they, they said all kinds of things about you online secretly. Good for them. You're innocent of all of this. Now they want to apologize. Here comes the, the, the communication, eight of wands. Why? 
is, they could be losing their job here. This is not wish fulfillment. They're putting on an act. They have secret addictions. They're smug, full of themselves and selfish. They don't want you having wish fulfillment. That's why. That's why. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Do you want to apologize here to end something? You're online. You're good news online. You're maybe, maybe you're really, you have a following. Maybe you're growing big time online here. The world is something's ended here. Lessons learned. They're grieving and regretting. Try to prove a point here and they can't because they only added burdens to their own back. They could have put burdens on your back in the past. Broke your heart. Now they're heartbroken. Their wishes aren't coming true. They're sick here. They have no faith. They're feeling ashamed of themselves. They took great pride in watching you hurt and hurting you. Okay? They were greedy and selfish. They put a lot of pressure on your back, a lot of burdens. They could never go through what you went through, okay? Time is up here. If it's mortgage fraud, time is up. It's a house, I'm telling you. A, bit, a business or a house, they, they, they want to seize an opportunity here. Your ships are coming in. You know your value and your worth, okay? They were plotting and planning. This is destiny. These are gold diggers and cloud chasers. They were planning on leaving you out in the dust, okay? So they left you struggling. They laughed at it. They loved it while they were living high off the hog off of your credit and or in your property. They wouldn't help you. They would even attempt to help you. Now they're going through it. They're going to go to jail. I'm telling you, yeah, this is fraud. I can't make it up, okay? They're unstable financially. Fraud. This is a, a crime they committed. They were codependent and clingy. Unstable and insecure, very greedy and, and selfish. Unstable right now. This could be uh, bankruptcy. All kinds of stuff is happening right now. They committed a crime against you. They're under bad. This is harsh judgment. They're getting karma up the wazoo. Lack of awareness, acceptance, and accountability. They are scared. They are heartbroken. They're delusional as well. They, this, they cast a lot of illusions, okay? They don't know what to do right now. They bought a lot of stuff with your with your credit, possibly. Temptations, right? Maybe they tried to bribe um, authorities. It's a cover-up. Hopeful, wishful thinking that their tears are going to move you. They broke the law. Can't make it up. Yeah. They're, they're in their, their feelings right now. These people aren't going to change, okay? This has gone on a long time, long time. You let them go a long time ago. They were never going to change. They didn't like that. You knew the truth. You spoke your truth, and now they're worried. The truth is coming out. Nine of swords plus one is, is a heavy-duty betrayal. It's a harsh and painful end for these people, okay? They could have done magic on you, but I don't really sense it here. I mean, it could very well be, but that's not the focal. The focal point is the finances here. What they did to you, what they said about you, all the slander and the people that did this with them and helped them. They're all going to, they're, they're hitting uh, some karma right now. The eyes of beauty, positive expectations and clarity. You saw clearly what was going on. You speak with the divine. They told you, sit tight. Let us do what we do. It could have been a couple of years, but it's well worth it. Trust me when I say that, okay? You're the obedient child. The spirit whisper, divine guidance and higher knowing, number three. You're divine feminine. I'm telling you, there's more, more to it than just them trying to sabotage you and steal from you and hurt you and slander you, defame you. At the end of the day, you're going to be able to prove that God exists. You took all of your... your orders from the divine you did everything exactly to their specifications okay how would you know what was going on over there if you were never around those people you don't even know them possibly it's something to do with a home house um <laughs> they're under judgment that's for sure 20 real estate a family I, it's boils to it too. You're highly spiritually ranked, I think, as well. But you're you're you've got a lot of intuition here. Dealing with a main male one magician. Um, that's a lot of manipulation, deception. They were two faced illusions, right? Corrupt, change. Nine 
There's an investigation here. If you got a house and a car out of it. And the bitches, right? Look at me, I'm... I've got it, I've got it made, do you? Do you? Or the, the bitches turned out to be karmics, I'm sure. Because somebody of higher quality wouldn't be around you. So, good on ya. Engagement ring. Yeah, you bought an engagement ring for somebody, cost a lot of money, you wanted to land that person, right? They wanted to be with you because you're a good thief, is that what it is? But they weren't, um, they weren't faithful to you, were they? <laughs> bought the engagement ring on somebody else's credit. Wow, what a winner. Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent working on it. Yeah, they're going to be interrogated, all of them. It's going to... Hammer at home right now. I think the divine's hammering at home. It's the final nail in their cof coffin. They want to apologize for the slander, the rumors, and the gossip, really, over the internet, really, trying to sabotage you and your business if you work online. You know why? Because you're beautiful. Inside and out. I mean, looks are fleeting. We all get older, if we're lucky. We all get older. Uh, these people are superficial, though. They put all their... We put everything in looks. Their image, right? That's why after, what, two years, they're tired of the same person. Got to get a younger one. Better looking one. Oh, the ass, the, the huge ass isn't in anymore. Let's go for the uh, the smaller ass now. Yeah, it's so superficial. Stop trying so hard. You're all going to get older if you're lucky to live that long, Okay. Please enhance other things in your life, like, you know, your knowledge, your, you know, having conversations with people. Stop being superficial, please. Can we end and read, please? Thank you. Nine, investigation. Hiding and cloaking. Mm, somebody's alone now. Alone in the world? Twelve, an arrest. Maybe a one sole person's going to get arrested. I don't know. Struggling here, wanted to sacrifice you. Maybe you're finding out they try to sacrifice you. 29, this is 11 in, in, in tarot. That's justice, devil energy. Karmic, told you. So you're coming into some justice. Now let's read these quickly, please. So I can upload these videos. Remembrance of eternity, spiritual connections, forgiveness. If you have been thinking about a loved one, it is likely that their energy has been very much around you. There must be no regrets about things which have or have not been said in the past. Spirit knows that your intentions were good. Thinking about what has gone may be at the forefront of your mind. The only, the if only, quote unquote, syndrome may be in your thoughts right now. It's important to remember that whatever has been said or done in the heat of the moment was right at the time. You must let go of any regrets. Remind yourself that you are the only human and we all make mistakes from time to time. However, these are often our greatest lessons. It's time to think about your future, not dwell on the past. All is forgiven. Well, if you are a divine feminine, of course you forgive. It's not for them. You do feel bad that this person had to go down this road. Um, maybe they're feeling guilty about what they've done to you or certain people around who's, you know, knew about it and didn't do anything about it. Take it as applies. Okay. It's for whomever. 12 drowned pride, letting go and release. Somebody's very prideful. You may have experienced recent emotional upheaval. Your tears are still on the surface, but it's time to start looking ahead. Dwelling on the past, thinking about what could have been will only hold you back. There's part of you which is desperate to let go and move forward, but your disappointment in holding on to the past is stopping you from moving forward. It's time to reveal who you really are. You're not a victim of someone else's emotional control. You are a strong and beautiful person with an abundance of opportunities open to you. Take that first step to release and let go and be the person you want to be rather than who you feel others expect you to be. So you're living for other people. You're not living for yourself. So stop trying to be someone you're not. Your greatest gift is to show the world that you are not a victim, rather a strong and determined person ready to be the best you can be. Don't let them victimize you. And I, what I'm saying is if you don't let go and forgive, you're carrying around that anger, that shame, that pain that they placed on you. And again, they're having power over you day in and day out. 
for as long as you hold on to that anger, for as long as you don't forgive. Forgive yourself, most importantly. Okay, a lot of us, and I've been there, blame ourselves for putting ourselves in this situation. It's not our fault. If loving a person is is at fault, I've been, call me guilty, okay? Because I loved, I gave, I gave so much, more than I should have, and I blame myself for that. But I forgave myself. Do you understand what I'm saying? I wasn't at fault. All I did was love people. There's nothing wrong with love. So don't take on that shame, please. Leave that shame and blame where it belongs, at their feet, please, okay? The Ashen Queen, 29, Reflection, Overthinking, and Peace. There are times in life when we just need to stop and reflect on where we are in our path. There is no sorrow here, just a need to have a goal, something to plan for and look forward to. Meditation and visualization may be needed to calm the mind and give you some guidance. Whatever you need to do to relax, find the time to do it. When days are overloaded with the demands of modern life, it can be, it can be stressful, and sometimes we need permission to be kind to ourselves. Make plans to do the things which make you happy. Reconnect with nature, walk, dance, laugh. Whatever it is, time to be just you is much needed now. And it's so weird because I was thinking that like an hour ago in my situation when my child was young, I was obviously somebody's mother, somebody's sister, somebody's um, partner. I was somebody's um, employee, you know, um, somebody's friend. I always had to do something for other people. And I never got to do for myself. I, I was working six days a week, full-time mom. I don't know how I did it, but it was never enough time for me until I went, whoa, I can't do this anymore. And things changed. And um, the, I, I wasn't listening to the universe. They, they kept telling me, you got to slow down. You got you to, you know, you can't pour from an empty cup. And I wasn't listening until, boom, that tower, <laughs> just when I did that, uh, my kettle went off. That tower goes off. And um, everything falls apart. It was because I wasn't listening. And that's when I got ill. And I couldn't work. And I didn't know where my future was going to go. Like what I'm going to do. How I'm going to provide for my, my son and I. So it's very scary. If I had to listen to a long time prior to that. Maybe I, it would it would have softened the blow of the tower. Who knows. Maybe. It's, it's, I, you know. I do believe I'm a person. I believe we're always at the right place at the right time. Whether it's good or bad. It's meant to teach us lessons. Not that I was happy about it. I'll tell you that much. It didn't feel good. Okay. It was scary. But uh, we all have to go through our own scary situations. Right. Things that we have to get through by ourselves. Uh, do only what's best for you. Don't make plans or don't change things in your world to accommodate other people. Okay. Because And then you... you you got to take it on the chin again. No. Okay. This is your time to fill up your cup and do what's best for you. And yes, it's hard to do, but forgive. Let it go so they don't hold power over you, hold sway over you anymore. You can finally put it behind you and let it go completely. Never think about it again. Okay. Hope this helps. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.